Uh, hello, uh, my name is Cor McAllen. I'm Assistant Head of School at the TU Dublin School of Architecture and I'm in charge of the TU831 BSc Ons in Architectural Technology programme. You might have seen me at the various open days and other online events over the past year as you prepare to make your CAO application. <clears throat> Congratulations on being offered a place on the TU831 Architectural Technology programme and thank you for accepting the offer. I hope you'll enjoy your time with us in TU Dublin and I look forward to meeting you all in person over the coming weeks. I've prepared this presentation to give you some insight into the architectural technology discipline and the great opportunities that lie ahead for you in your careers, both in terms of employment and postgraduate opportunities. By the way, I am myself a graduate of the Architectural Technology Programme, having studied in Bolton Street between 1980 and 1983. I made the best friends of my life during those three years and remain in regular contact with many of my former classmates to this day. I'm sure that the same would be true for the class of 2021. Now that you've chosen a career path, uh, it is useful to reflect on the challenges which lie ahead and how these will impact on your career and employment opportunities. As we all know, society must respond to the challenges of the climate and biodiversity emergency. This will be made all the more difficult by continuing population growth, which will rise to over 9 billion by 2040 and nearly 10 billion by 2050. In terms of the built environment, buildings will be designed and assembled differently. Society will continue to need buildings and more of them due to population growth. Existing buildings will require renovation to meet energy performance targets as part of our journey towards a carbon neutral society in 2050. In your career over the next 50 years, you will witness and be part of huge and extraordinary change. The future will, without a shadow of a doubt, be both technological and digital. It will care little for conventional status, but will reward those who have the skills to use technology and embrace ongoing change. I would like to try to give a sense for how your career will look over a period of time from today to 2050, when most of you will be 47 years of age. To put this in context, I am already over 57 and still have plenty to do before I retire. You have your whole lives ahead of you as we journey into the uncharted waters of the 21st century. Most of our applicants will have sat their leaving certificate in June and most will be around 18 years of age, probably born in 2003. Our marketing advisors tell us that you are Generation Z and Google tells me that there are 2 billion of you out there. When you were 17, the European Nearly Zero Energy Building or NZEB standard became law for all new buildings. You are now starting college in 2021 and should graduate in 2025 at the age of around 22. In 2030, having spent five years at the front line of practice, you will have experienced a, and professionally qualified. You will have played an active technical role in the greening of the built environment. Driverless electric cars will be the norm, incentivized by carbon tax and powered with clean energy from PV panels on people's retrofitted homes. The world will be consuming less meat, and if not, we'll all be in big trouble. At the age of 37, you will be in a world with a population of nearly 10 billion. That's more than 2 billion more than 2021. And at the age of 47, we will be in a carbon neutral society. And that's the plan anyway. What all this means is that you will be very busy and well employed, provided that you embrace technology and make it your own. Completing your studies in architectural technology here in TU Dublin will be a vital first step in this. So, what kind of work will you be doing? The lower images of the Tate Modern Art Gallery in London. On the surface, it seems a simple building, a cubic form clad in brick with one side crimped. 
but under the surface lies a myriad of technologies and materials. A deep excavated basement supports a complex concrete structure. This in turn su supports several layers of secondary structure and cladding systems, all designed to achieve high levels of thermal and environmental performance. As a modern art gallery, the building also includes highly sophisticated passive and active ventilation and air conditioning systems, all of which are carefully integrated within an overall architectural design. The realisation of this architectural vision requires highly detailed technical design and coordination. This is the territory of the architectural technologist who works alongside architects, engineers, surveyors and contractors in a dynamic, multidisciplinary, collaborative and technical design process with the cloud-based virtual building information model at its core. And the bottom line is that you need to understand building technology to give intelligence to the building model. And that is the opportunity for the architectural technologist. So what does a 21st century architectural technologist look, lo look like? To help give a sense for this, and hopefully to inspire you, we have uploaded lots of really interesting TU Dublin Architectural Technology graduate profiles on the TU Dublin School of Architecture website. These are located in the People section and show how our graduates have risen to positions of leadership in the building industry, many with postgraduate qualifications in areas of technical specialism. I'll introduce a few of our graduates now to give you a sense for the kind of opportunities and careers that lie ahead for you all. This is Ryan Dempsey. Ryan graduated with first class honours in architectural technology in 2018. He went on to win the World Skills inaugural gold medal for BIM at an international competition in Russia in 2019. He is currently in the final year of the TU Dublin MSc in Applied Building Information Modelling and Management. Ryan works as a BIM coordinator in Henry J. Lyons Architects, the biggest architectural practice in Ireland. He's making a big impact in the area of BIM and particularly in the use of scripting to enhance the performance and output of BIM models. He's also a senior tutor demonstrator in the Dublin School of Architecture and will help you on your BIM modules through the online Microsoft Yammer community. You can also view Ryan's ePortfolio on the student work section of the Dublin School of Architecture website. There's also a link to this on Ryan's alumni profile page. This is Emma Hayes. Emma graduated from Bolton Street in 1995 with a diploma in architectural technology. She returned to college in 2010 and completed the BSc Ons programme as an industry-based student, graduating with first-class honours. She then enrolled on the MSc in BIM Management in Middlesex University in the UK and is now a specialist BIM consultant in Ireland. Emma is currently the managing director of her own company, which is called Digital Build Consultants. Her company supports and guides clients from architectural engineering and construction in their digital transition journey. She is a leading force in the digitalization of the Irish building industry. Emma is also a part-time lecturer in TU Dublin and a guest lecturer and critic on the BSc ONS in Architectural Technology programme. There's an excellent video on Emma's alumni page in which she tells her career story and provides tips for success. I would recommend that you make some time to view this at some point. And this is Lee Corcoran. Lee also graduated with a first class honours in architectural technology in 2011. In his final year of the programme, Lee developed an interest in building physics and enrolled in a PhD programme to research hydrothermal risk in building performance. Lee now works as a facade designer in Arab Engineers, one of the biggest engineering practices in the world. He is particularly valued for his ability in three-dimensional freehand sketching, which brings a much valued and unique skill set to what is essentially a multidisciplinary collaborative design process. 
Lee has lectured in building information modeling in the Dublin School of Architecture and visits the college as a guest lecturer and critic from time to time. This is Cormac Flood, the first of our 80 graduates to achieve a PhD. Cormac originally graduated with a first class honours in architectural technology in 2011. In his final year, Cormac developed an interest in building metrics and enrolled on a PhD programme in TU Dublin to research thermal transmittance and building evaluation. He was conferred with a PhD for his thesis entitled A Framework for Integrated Thermal Assessment and Decision. Cormac is an architectural technologist and BIM manager in Cody Architects, where he has worked on the National Children's Hospital satellite centres in Talla and Connolly Hospitals, among other projects. Cormac is a regular contributor to the Architectural Technology Programme and attends final year, uh, end of year reviews as a visiting critic. This is Sarah McLaughlin. Sarah graduated with a second class honours degree in architectural technology in 2015. She then enrolled on the TU Dublin MSc in Building Information Modelling and Management, graduating in 2019. She was an associate and BIM manager with Cabinet Tute Architects, following which she joined John Fleming Architects, where she now works as a senior architectural technologist. To date, Sarah has worked on many high profile projects, including Dublin Airport, UCD Nova and TU Dublin student residences in Grange Gorman. Sarah lectures part time on the TU Dublin Architectural Technology Programme and you should get to meet her in your studies over the coming years. This is David Lamon. David also graduated with second class honours in architectural technology in 2015. He also enrolled on the TU Dublin MSc in Applied BIM in, and he graduated in 2019. David is an associate and BIM manager with the practice of C and W O'Brien Architects, where he has contributed to some notable achievements. These include being shortlisted at the Construction Industry Awards for the Architectural Practice of the Year, BIM Initiative of the Year, Commercial Project of the Year and Green Project of the Year. He's also a member of the Construction Information Technology Alliance, the Royal Institute of the Architects of Ireland and the Institute of Designers in Ireland. He is presented as a BIM expert in Revit and Dynamo at many conferences and seminars and is very active through LinkedIn. David also lectures part-time in TU Dublin. He lectures on the BSc in Architectural Technology, the BSc in BIM in the School of Multidisciplinary Technologies and the MSc in Applied BIM, where he is the resident specialist in Dynamo. Again, you should get to meet David over the coming years. And finally, this is Bianca Wong. Bianca graduated with a bachelor's degree in architectural technology in 2012. She later enrolled on a master's program in energy and sustainable building design in De Montfort University in the UK. She practiced as an architectural technologist, leading a broad range of construction and sustainability driven projects in Europe, North America, Australasia and Southeast Asia. Her current role is Divisional Sustainability Manager at Kingspan, responsible for the development and implementation of Kingspan's sustainability strategy. Her key responsibilities include Kingspan's Net Zero 2020 initiative, product life cycle assessments and providing technical support to local teams on major projects. So these are just a few of the graduate profiles which are included on the Dublin School of Architecture website. Take some time to have a look and be inspired. Looking at these success stories, I can say with full confidence that the future belongs to the technologist. And don't forget to look at the student section of the website, which contains lots of short selfie videos made by current students. These give a good sense of student life and the achievement and enthusiasm of our students. I wish you all the best in the coming academic year and I look forward to meeting you shortly.